Kaleo there champs and welcome to the show. Today I just thought I'd throw up a video on what I think about the Pixel camera. I'm going to chuck loads, a whole heap or a whole bunch of photos, however you want to say it, in this video and I'm going to do a quick comparison to the iPhone 7 camera too. So let's compare it to the iPhone 7. Now when it comes to video and video stabilization, there is no contest. The Pixel just glides, the camera glides, it does skip a frame every now and then, I don't know what that's about. But compared to the iPhone 7, you can see every step I take with the iPhone 7, it shakes up and down. With the Pixel, it's just gliding, you get that occasional skip of a frame there. But apart from that, it's just much better. The electronic image stabilization works better than the OIS in this case. But when it comes to the camera, it's a different story. Now, focusing up close, the Pixel was better at focusing up close. I could get closer to a plant here and eventually I could get there with the iPhone, but it wasn't very good. Dynamic range, you can see the rainbow and loss of contrast on the Pixel there. And it doesn't really meter for the scene very well. It doesn't change exposure well. And looking at the two photos here, you can see the difference in dynamic range. And yes, HDR Plus is on with the Pixel, but even when you have it on on the iPhone, it's still better on the Pixel. And again, you can see that ghosting on the Pixel image here. That's when you take photos into the sun, you've got to be careful with the Pixel. Now, these photos are all from PAX. We had PAX in Melbourne last weekend, and you'll see here with these photos, there's a lot of mixed lighting, and there's very bad lighting conditions. What I did notice is, if you look at these two photos here, have a look at these two you'll see there's a dramatic difference. They are both taken under the same lighting conditions, but for some reason the camera changed its exposure and bumped up the ISO. And that's the difference between 364 ISO and 707 ISO. And you can see in the speaker and on the frame of the PC there, there's a lot of noise on the image on the left compared to the one on the right. And what I did notice is once the camera bumps up its ISO over about 450 ISO, it gets really noisy and the images become, in my opinion, unusable after that. And this is where the lack of image stabilization on the Pixel is a real problem because even though electronic image stabilization is fine for video, it works really good. It doesn't really work well for pictures. And what the Pixel's having to do here is it's having to bump up its ISO to try and keep that shutter speed high. Because if it doesn't bump up the ISO, the shutter speed has to be longer. And that's where you get the image shake. So I noticed all the time when I was taking photos, I really had to be careful with how I held the camera and just really focus on trying to keep it as steady as possible. But once you did do that, this is low light conditions, believe me. It looks like it's not low light, but it really is. And have a look at this picture here. It looks like it's from an iPhone 3. That was terrible noise there. And that was like 1,970 ISO, that picture. And as I said, even though these pictures look bright and they look fairly decent, this is really tough lighting conditions. And when I could hold the camera steady, you really got good shots in low light. But when the shutter speed was a bit slow, you did get blurriness. So compared to the iPhone 7, you're going to get better photos with the iPhone 7 in low lighting conditions. And filming inside packs in these low light conditions, you can really see noise. You will always see noise. Pretty much all the video I filmed inside the packs it was dark as I told you the photos don't make it look like it's dark in there but it really is and you could see noise in every bit of footage I took inside the exhibition center where PAX was being held so it does always have noise in low light conditions the pixels video is not that great in those low light conditions and the iPhone 7 is better in that regard too now when it comes to daytime conditions sunny or cloudy conditions this is where the Pixel phone really beats the iPhone. No problems here. Has much more dynamic range. Yes, it does have HDR enabled. Even when you enable it on the iPhone, you do not get the dynamic range that you get on the Pixel. And the Pixel is super fast in HDR plus mode. It's just like taking a normal photo. And here you can see how good it reproduces colors. Look how bright and saturated they look. It really has vivid color. And again, here, you can see the dynamic range 
very tough condition we're talking about twilight here you got lots of brightness lots of darkness but still it was able to nail those shots so in summary i'm really impressed with the pixel camera it is the best camera on a smartphone and i've tested the three best cameras and i'll get to that later when i pick my best phone of the year so in daylight conditions the pixel has the best camera you just got to be careful you cannot shoot into the sun or when you do you have to work out your angles you will get that ghosting or rainbow effect on loss of contrast now the iphone has that too but it's not as bad as the pixel the pixel is really bad and in my review i will explain why that happens and the pixel review will be coming very soon but definitely daylight conditions, the Pixel has the best camera of a smartphone. When it comes to low light, the iPhone 7 is better than this. Same with the Samsung Galaxy S7. And when it comes to video, in terms of image stabilization, the Pixel is definitely the best at image stabilization. And it's really good at focusing close, like it's able to focus a lot closer than the iPhone. But its image quality is not quite as good as the iPhone 7 or the Samsung Galaxy S and it just doesn't have the dynamic range or picture quality of the Samsung Galaxy S7 or the iPhone 7 in terms of video. It's not that far behind but they've nailed the stabilization when it comes to video but they need to work on the quality a bit there. So all in all I'm really impressed with the camera in this. Definitely still camera, it's great. They gotta work on that lens flare and that loss of contrast and they've got to work on the low light video capabilities and just the video quality in general it's fine it's fine in daylight but sometimes it wouldn't meter the scenes properly so i always had to sort of tap on the subject i wanted to expose for rather than the camera just knowing the correct exposure most of the time like with the iphone 7 or galaxy s 7 so i will be doing my full review of this pixel very soon so make sure you subscribe to see that i really like to thank you guys for watching i really appreciate your support got lots more tech content coming soon and until next time guys tally ho